Why the hell would you think he would duck from anybody? Boxing fans here in Riyadh, it's five week with me about none other than Tyson Fury's manager Spencer Brown. Spencer, first of all, this is amazing, man. I told everybody it was going to be amazing. Nobody believed me. It's probably the, 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 the best show on the planet at the moment. It's unbelievable, isn't it? You've been in there. What about the main stage? You've been in there yet? I've, I've been uh, not, not, not there yet, but yeah, I'm going to go to you get in there. You've got um, it's unbelievable. This is going to be one of the biggest events ever seen. Listen, talk to me about you know, we know that you know certain people like to get involved in boxing, and maybe once they've had a little bit of a feel of it, they've had enough. But no, do you feel do you feel like these people? No, that's not the case. That's absolutely not the case. You've got um, Bob Aaron, George Warren, uh, Frank Warren, all working on this. Some of the best promoters in the world. I mean, the names here are incredible. They're not just doing this as a as a fly-by-night thing. This is going to be massive, and there's big, big plans for the future. I've seen the plans; they're unbelievable. Let's just hope they're going to place. I know they will because Turk Al Sheikh doesn't mess about. You've seen it here tonight; it's incredible. Uh, have you ever seen an event like it? You know, I was in Jeddah for um, the Anthony Joshua one, and that was that was great. But I've got to say, this is, this, this I've got to say. be ten times as better. Ten times as good. I've got to say it is it is both impressive. This one's very impressive as well. Yeah, well, you've not seen nothing yet. Okay. This is only going to get bigger and better, honestly. And wait for the Usyk fight. That's going to be boom. I want to talk about uh, Tyson. Uh, only a couple of months ago, everyone was writing him off, saying, "Listen, Tyson wants too much money. He doesn't want what the fans want." All of a sudden, things change crazily in boxing. He's the main man. He's the one that's sort of headlining in Riyadh. It seems that the other heavyweights want to get on certain cards in Riyadh now. Do you feel like the the tables have turned for Tyson and he's won over a lot I, I, more fans? I don't think the tables have ever turned. I just think misinformation. Yeah. I think uh, people jump the gun. People call him a coward and a fraud and this, that and the other. Absolute nonsense. You think he, he's a six foot nine switch hip, hip, hitting beast. Why the hell would you think he would duck from anybody? He was just getting the right deal at the right time. Waiting a little bit longer, he was right yet again, wasn't he? He was right again. So let's give the man a bit of credit. Instead of jumping on him, give him a bit of credit. Um, do you want to talk about, he, he did a face-off with uh, Francis Ngoni with Carl Frampton that was hosting it for TNT and in that he said something that I want to question you on and talk to you about. He said I beat the hardest puncher in the division in Wilder. That makes me the hardest puncher in the division. I take that title away. Is there anyone that comes close to punching power? Obviously you got Wilder there. Uh, is, is there any other name? Garnu has got the record for the hardest hitting puncher at any human being. but. You've got to remember, he's got to catch Tyson first, hasn't he? Yeah. He can knock anybody out. France and Garnu can knock anybody out. Obviously, it's you know he's done it in MMA, and I'm sure he could do it in boxing. But it's a different, different game. This, I mean, this is a record because nobody has ever come into their first professional fight yeah. and fought a world champion. So <laughs> it, it's a first. It's a crossover fight we've all wanted to see. Um, obviously. We saw Mayweather against Conor McGregor, yeah. but this is a this is a bigger event for me. How important is it that your man does the job? And maybe has to do it a little bit quicker than a normal because there's a fight signed in two months' time. Probably wants to avoid any cuts. Probably wants to avoid any injuries. Is there any anything like that playing in Tyson's mind? Look, if if obviously that's our main concern that we don't want him to get cut. We don't want him to to get any injury whatsoever. But it's always a risk, isn't it? In any sport, you know, football, anything rugby anything it's a big risk but it's a risk we're prepared to take and we've took so let's cross our fingers because if he comes out unscathed full steam ahead 23rd in Riyadh again boom with this fight being announced and the magnitude of the Usyk fight we know it's, you're never going to get a fight like this coming around uh, in it's been so many years already do you feel like you're going to see a steamroll of bigger fights in the heavyweight division. I'm talking about Wilder, AJ. Wilder's been out on social media last night calling out AJ publicly saying, let's make the fight up and forget the politics. Do you feel like this fight can ignite? I don't think there is any politics, is there? 
I think the politics was that they tried to come to Saudi, they sold Saudi money. Unfortunately, we know what happened with Skills Challenge, and now obviously they're trying to make the fight elsewhere. It doesn't seem like it's happening right now, but. Well, listen, Eddie Hearn's a big promoter, isn't he? I mean, he, he's, you know, we've all seen what Eddie Hearn can do. He fills stadiums, he's a great promoter. Um, but let's have it right. At the moment, Frank Warren's got the keys, and, and Bob Aaron got the keys to the castle. And I'm not saying the Saudis, he won't be able to get involved because I'm, you know, I'm sure there's, they're not that kind of people. They're very open-hearted and they'll open their heart to anybody. Yeah. And the guy in charge, Turkey Al Sheikh, and full backing from MBS and massive shout out to both of them. You know, and their team is incredible. The whole team's incredible here. I mean, they work 24 hours a day. I'm constantly getting phone calls at four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, so um, everything is right. And I think you're going to see a plethora of top, not just heavyweight fights, of all sorts of fights. And they're willing to give the smaller guy a shout as well. And they're willing to give him a chance. Okay. We've seen that with Jack McGann here tonight. Yeah, it's true. You know, and we've got, we've got some unbelievable heavyweights, you know, all sorts of fights. But obviously, he was a heavyweight card, and they give Jack McGann a chance because he's a crossover fighter. He's come over from the MMA world, yeah. and he's fighting Roberto Duran Jr. Interesting final one before I do let you go. Um, Anthony Joshua sent himself to a, a dog retreat for four days. Well, what do you make of, of that, Look, of that I've mindset? I've known Anthony Joshua a long time. I know you have, that's uh, He's a lovely guy, really lovely guy. Tyson Fury is not, he doesn't slag anybody. Doesn't need to, doesn't slag anybody. And when we were talking about it, Tyson said, listen, he's welcome up to Morecambe whenever he wants. Okay. Instead of going into a retreat, come and, come and spend some time with me. And this hope Anthony Joshua, it, it helped him. Okay. Because honestly, he's a, he's a terrific guy. Yeah. Spencer, always a pleasure catching up with you. Um, good luck with everything that happens this week. Good luck on Saturday night to yourself Thank and you Tyson and the team. And uh, no doubt we'll speak to you soon. Thank you Thank very you. much.